What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here and we're out at Timothy Lake right now doing another test on the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. So we're gonna go ahead and see, can you scuba dive with these phones? So I've got a friend over here, he's a certified diver and he's gonna go ahead and take these phones to different depths at this lake. We wanna get some cool footage, just basically see what can you do in a lake with these phones before they die, before we sank them in a little bucket contraption. This time I wanna see actually using them underwater and getting footage with them, can you do it and uh, how long until they die? So we're gonna go a certain depth increments basically like the last test but this time in the real world so we got a pretty deep lake here it's very very crystal clear and uh, we're gonna be wearing the apple watch series 2 as well which is certified for 50 feet or 50 meters so that one i'm not even worried about it's the iphones that we're gonna take to different depths and see how they do so let's go ahead and get some good footage enjoy this beautiful day out here with the iphone 7 or 7 plus i'm still deciding which one to break here but probably gonna be the jet black iPhone 7. And a couple little details about what we're doing. So we're actually at a higher altitude here, about 3000 feet above sea level. That means we're in a different pressure group when it comes to diving 0.8 versus the standard 1.0, which makes it more difficult for him. It shouldn't affect the iPhone. Just, just wanna explain the situation where we're diving at. So he's got his knife on him just in case anything goes bad underneath the water. We don't know what's under there. And uh, this is David, he's my crazy friend. He does all these crazy adventures. So if you guys wanna follow him, I'll tag him in the Instagram right there. You can go ahead and follow him in all of his adventures. So anyways, I'm excited to do this. Let's go ahead and see what the iPhone 7 can withstand when it comes to depth in real world environments while scuba diving. All right, so as you guys can see, this is the iPhone 7 right here jet black color extremely water resistant in our early tests so we're gonna start at about five feet for let's say five minutes so basically a little bit over what it's rated for here you go so uh, let me actually start recording for you okay and there he goes so uh, early tests pretty much show that it could handle five feet no problem even in the Columbia River so I'm not too worried All right, so we're just about now coming up to the five minute mark. So the iPhone at a meter and a half should be good. I mean, I'm not too worried about it. All right, hand me that guy. So I'm gonna cut the recording and it appears to be fine. I mean, really nothing to speak of. No signs of water damage, phone is working for now. And uh, Five feet seems to be good. And that was a little bit over five minutes. So next stop is 10 feet again for three to five minutes. How's the Apple Watch doing? Apple Watch is nice. It's telling me the time. <laughs> All right, so you know underneath the water. Yeah. Okay, let's do it 10 feet. I'll see you in about five minutes. All right, so we're just at that five minute mark right now. He should be surfacing here shortly, hopefully with a working iPhone. 10 feet is a good amount of depth. Usually people, we don't dive to that depth often. So to have it survive even that is quite incredible. And it has up to 35 feet, but this is scuba diving. This is the real stuff. All right. And I can see it is working. Check that out. So iPhone 7 is responding immediately out of the water after five, six minutes and 10 feet water in the ports, but it looks good. I mean, how was it underwater? It was nice. The touch screen didn't work underwater, <laughs> but we took it down to 14, 15 feet and it was nice. 14, 15 feet already? Yeah, we were at 14 feet most of the time. Oh, dang. Okay. It looks like next time we got to go to 20 then. Let's go to 20. Yeah. All right. iPhone seven. Wow. This thing is tough. Seriously. So 14 feet, no problem. Must be the, yeah, must be the jet black color, who knows. But next stop, 20 feet, let's do this. We're just dumping all the footage in case it dies on the next depth test because 
I don't know uh, how deep this one will go for, but just in case, you know, precaution. All right, so we found a spot where we're gonna reach about 20 feet. So on the iPhone, I'm gonna go ahead and start recording right now in uh, 4K. All right, here you go. Good luck. And he is off. So I'll show you guys after, but we actually found so many cool things underneath the water here. There's like sunglasses and dive masks, nets and stuff. We just pulled this one up right here. So kind of cool snorkeling and diving, scuba diving. You can see a lot of treasures. All right, let's wait about five minutes for him to surface and uh, so we'll check out the iPhone at 20 feet. This is 20 feet. We're gonna see how he's doing underneath the water over there. You can seriously barely see him. Focus is so bad. There he is. It works, just I turned, off, I turned it off accidentally. Oh, okay, so. Uh, still works. That's 20 feet. That's actually more uh, than 20, five minutes. 25. 25 feet? All right, let's see. There's something funny going on with the display. Is it? Uh, almost. I feel like I could see grid lines. Yeah, yeah, it's starting to like blur and... Oh my goodness, yeah. So, I'm gonna put it in here so you guys can see. But the display is starting to do some funny things. It's got this motion blur going on. And uh, I think the water finally got to it. So, uh, for just a minute there you could see it. Now it's gone but yeah there it is again so it's hard to see things they're starting to get blurry on the display oh man that's kind of funny so 20 25 feet in real world environments that's what it took to start seeing some sort of water damage and i'm not seeing any moisture in the camera lens itself but the display seems to be affected by the water all right so I think that's what it took, honestly. Funny that the last one uh, survived 35 feet, but hey, 10, 15, 20 feet is good. It just once you go a little bit deeper to 25, that's when you're gonna see the effects like this. So right there on the bottom right, you can definitely see that water is starting to creep into the display. And the home button is not working whatsoever, so I can't physically press it. It's stuck in this settings page. Man, the light's starting to bleed in on the bottom there. Flickering, blurry. Ouch. I thought it would do, I thought it would go up to 30, but hey, 25 is not bad, really. Not bad at all. If you can see that motion blur there, it's so interesting. Like everything's starting to blur together. Uh, triggered. <laughs> wow, that is so interesting. I've never seen this kind of water damage before. It's playing with the LCD. Oh my goodness. Look at that. So just to give you guys an idea, I'm out in the lake filming this. My iPhone seriously got triggered by that water. The display is still working uh, for the most part. I just can't get the home button to work. But I feel like this thing's about to die, so I'm gonna rush to shore and see if I can uh, salvage the footage off of it. Look at that, the display is ghosting like crazy. You can see a ton of water damage down here. But it's gonna be a little hard to press things because you don't know if you're pressing one option or the other. And the home button is done for completely. Uh, you can still like tap it virtually. 
and the display is working everywhere <laughs> but that's the effect of the water so this phone literally just now died the display went off and it is done for so if you guys are planning on going for a swim with your iphone in real world environments we were able to get 20 feet safely once we went past that to 25 and stayed down there that's when the water started to get in and it's going to be a problem you know it's fun to play with this thing in the water just don't go too deep and most of us won't even go beyond 10 feet so other than that i mean i'm very surprised at how capable this thing is in the water you can definitely see the moisture in there now it crept in so i'll try and hard reset it on the other hand here's the apple watch 2 and i've been scuba diving with it for like two hours already and it doesn't even know that it's been underwater really working just like it should so would get the apple watch too oh, oh look at that you can see the settings page while it's booting up there's airplane mode in the toggle i don't know if you could see that at all but there's settings on burned into the display so wow it actually turned on and unfortunately i can't click home and now it's off again yeah this time you can still see settings burned in here it's kind of funny that's like the toggle on and off on the top right there for airplane mode <laughs> it's flickering that is classic okay so the touch display still works camera's a little foggy look at that i'm surprised this thing is still booting but the home button does not work at all that's 25 feet dang <laughs> there's settings again burned in this is so funny so that brighter display burns in apparently okay i think that's it i'm going to stop torturing this iphone guys so swim responsibly with your phones don't go beyond 20 feet and uh, you guys should be good thanks so much for watching be sure to check out my other depth test videos but this was actually pretty fun so major props to my friend for helping me scuba dive with the iphone uh, you can find his instagram down below have a great day guys enjoy the rest of the fall good weather with your iphone in the water peace